April's about four days in, and some really amazing games we've been waiting for a long, long time finally hit the Play Store. So it doesn't really matter if you've got a beefy phone or not, there's about 15 new games to pick up and play with legit graphics for your Android and iOS devices as well. Quick mention over here, number one, Avatar Saga, a mobile exclusive adventure, technically one of the most anticipated games of the year, is now available on the Play Store worldwide, no longer in its pre-registration state and already downloaded almost a million times ever since last week. Avatar Saga is actually now awarded as the number one free-to-play RPG of 2023. It's really nice in visuals, formula, but all over just an autoplay RPG, like the battles are auto, the missions as well, and pretty much everything else. However, it is addicting. And number two, from actually November last year, and now finally out globally since last week, with over 100,000 downloads ever since we have Kingdom Hunter. Guys, this is a strategy war game as the sole work of its developers and somehow still one of the most advanced in replay, graphical design, pace, and difficulty out there. There's a lot of bugs inside Kingdom Hunter right now, but nothing that I've come across lately, so if I had to give it a thumbs down, that would be, it's just that the game is a pay to win. Number three with a 4.7 out of five and almost a thousand downloads since only yesterday. We've got over here Magic Craft. Guys, Magic Craft is a PvP multiplayer battle arena game in short with MOBA, but quite different from the usual MOBA like League of Legends or Dota, where it has a more advanced guild system, economy stuff, taxes, it's got taxes and a lot more just clan fights as opposed to team fights. Like it's not like you go up against five other players as five it's more like 15 players along with you anyway it's got a much bigger map to explore and it's got a pretty good online play Guys, Nixon finally came out with a trailer on Wars of Prasia. A few days ago, this game went on Google Play through Korea and is ever since downloaded over a hundred thousand times as well there. You can play the game though from anywhere, but it is in Korean. The English version is still in development. This might also sound hard to believe, but Prasia is actually Nixon's biggest MMORPG in scale, support and replay ever. And Nixon is actually a pretty big company. In any case, they came up with this trailer and it's glorious.
Number five as the newest work of a Kier Pekin Studios. That's a really good sim game developers that actually ever since last year has been coming out with nothing but precious gems on the Play Store. Since only three days ago, we've got over here a new game from these guys called Monster Museum, which is exactly what the title sells. An animal kind of history accurate collecting and management sim in a museum with a little bit of comedy elements. This game's about 130 megabytes in size. It's free and playable both online and offline. Previously a PC exclusive and now finally on the Google Play and the App Store ever since yesterday. In his pre-registration state as a paid game for a total of 12 bucks, we've got over here Sid Meier's Railroads. This is a train management sim that initially came out more than 15 years ago and it's ever since one of the most praised games in Sid Meier's series of games. The mobile port here is playable of course offline and it's ported with quality of life improvements in gameplay, visuals and more. With over 100,000 downloads and a 4.8 out of 5 on the Play Store, we've got here a tower defense strategy cell shaded online and offline game from almost a month ago going by the name Twisted Towers. Because Twisted Tower here is uh, from the same developers of Disney Heroes, a game that's downloaded almost 50 million times. Or new game over here though, as opposed to other tower defense games, has a little bit of a shift in formula and as a little bit of merge game stuff and a campaign is free to play with an app purchases only. Number 8, we've got something called Awesome Devil Idol RPG. This is the second work of his developers who also brought us Grand Zinka last year. Legit in making just idle action RPGs and this time about the history of a demon king who was just defeated in battle by a brave hero. That's just story, doesn't really matter. The gameplay is where it really gets addicting. It's an auto battler with a lot of different skills and weapons to customize and levels and a good amount of different enemies and bosses. 9 out of 10. Coming up behind that at number 9, from literally only hours ago, with a 4.5 out of 5 and almost a thousand downloads already, we've got over here Heroes Awaken Idol RPG. This is from the studio Imba, the same people who brought Archer Hunter, an idol adventure, really good game. Heroes Awaken over here, though, is a 2D, 3D game in style. It's almost like an auto chess and fights, but pretty much just the same AFK style of idols. This one's about 500 megabytes in size, really nice in visuals, and apparently a good support team already. Number 10 from roughly 10 days ago. Ever since sitting on the Play Store through pre-registration state, we have Against War, a strategy tactics technically card game and a tower defense to some extent from the same developers of Torum Online, the MMORPG. Against War over here though is a quite different in replay graphics genre game overall, about much more addicting if you're into medieval lore. Just check it out in case you missed the game is playable only online. If you like retro style arcade shooters, we've got over here one of those as well, a game called Rapid Fire Brigade, uh, which is technically and literally cloned off of middle slot games, and it's actually an admirable attempt for a free game that even adds to the formula with RPG components. It's not in pixel design, it's more like a cartoony as opposed to middle slugs. A little slower in pace and playable online because you need to watch ads for coins to just buy items. And actually, not a bad game either. Coming as the first duo of two huge developers from roughly two weeks ago, by Firelight and Lilith Games over here, we have a game called This Light. Guys, This Light's actually been out for almost a year now, but it was no more than a couple of weeks ago, which then it became globally available with its first official campaign as well. This is in case you are new to a turn-based RPG online free-to-play game in nature, about one gigabyte in size and has, I like to think, some of the most interesting characters out of any game. Number 13 from the same people who previously brought Streets of Rage 4 on the Play Store. We've got over here with almost 10,000 pre-registered players as a once again paid game, Legend of Keepers. What is described by its developers as a mix between roguelite and dungeon management games where you play as a dungeon manager just hiring monsters and building traps to defeat heroes. That's the description, this is how it looks, that's all there was to it, take a look.
If you're familiar with the Payday franchise, you probably know that they've been coming over and ported to the Google Play for years now, and as ever since they started doing this, these games have been taken down for various reasons all along the way. This is just a reminder if you're craving some more, probably for a month, we've got over here once again Payday Crime, which is back on the Play Store, sitting through pre-registration stay for free, hopefully this will stay, and playable only online. It's pretty much the old formula with 10 minute matches and of course a multiplayer game in nature. If you're into hidden object and 3D puzzle games, like the Room games, I'm assuming you probably at some point heard about the Legacy games, a series of mobile puzzle adventures that started life about 5 years ago. Anyway, the company's newest game Legacy 4 Tomb of Secrets just came out way after a really long wait and it is sitting on both platforms for the price of 3 bucks and it's a 10 out of 10, highly recommended, but do play the first 3 games as well. And last but not least, with over 10,000 downloads through pre-registration state ever since three weeks ago, we have single-handedly over here the best retro story-driven RPG with horror elements, a game called Raging Bites. Imagine what you'd get by mixing the old Super Nintendo classic Earthbound and a dash of Stranger Things. Well, you get this. Here's a trailer, games playable both online and offline, and eventually a paid game in full. Music 